In this video, I will show you how to apply aggregation functions like minimum, maximum, sum, mean, or average on group data. Let's see post box session from PySpark.SQL import Spark session. I'll create an object Spark and in this I will save this Spark session. I'll call class Spark session. From this I will call the method builder.get or create. Now I'm going to make a variable df and in this I will save a CSV file. From Spark I will call the method read.csv. Inside this I will pass my CSV file name house.csv and then I will pass two parameters in first schema is equal to true this will give us column type header is equal to true this will give us column names let's execute our code to look at the data frame we will use the method show I will write df.show we have a data frame here we have names such as we have columns such as city overall quality GR lib area, garage area, and sale price. We can also look at the data types of our columns using the method print schema. I will write df.print schema. In the output, you will see we got the data type here. Our column string, our column city is our string type, overall quality integer, GR lib area integer, and so on. First, we will find the minimum sale price of each city. Here you will see in our data frame we have city names and also the sale price. We will group by city and then we will find the minimum sale price of a house in that city. This sale price are just random number. Please don't compare it with the real price as this is just for educational purpose. Now let's do the group by first. I will write df dot select First, we will look at the distinct city city names in our column city. We have many cities here. We will find the distinct cities here. DF dot select and then column city dot distinct dot show. In our column city, we have cities names such as Lucknow, Mumbai, Kolkata, Pune, Delhi, and Bhopal. We are going to first find the minimum sale price in each of these cities. I'll make one variable gdf. Here I will save the group data frame and I will do df dot group by and I'm going to apply this group by on the column city. I will write df dot city. Let's execute our code and if I call this object gdf you will see we got this message here. This is a group data and this is saved at, at this memory location. So it is a group data at the memory location. And on this group data, we can perform any aggregation function. And our first aggregation function is minimum because we want to find the minimum sale price of a house in each of the cities. First, we will look at the minimum function and to apply functions in PySpark, First, we will have to import the function module as f. I will import import PySpark dot SQL dot functions as f. Now we have all the functions in this f here. Let's call our group data frame gdf dot aggregate and to use the function aggregate we use this method agg inside this we will apply the minimum function i will call f dot minimum f dot minimum and we want to find the minimum sale price i will write the data frame df and then the column sale price then dot show and here you can see we got the output here now we have this two columns city and then minimum sale price for this city Lucknow the minimum sale price is this number 34,900 this is just a random number not the actual number for Mumbai we have the 62k for Kolkata we have 60k Pune 76 Delhi 82k Bhopal 40 and so on we can also rename this column we have this column minimum 
sale price by default but we can also rename this on the fly and I will show you how we can do that using the method alias. I'll just copy this code from here, paste it here and now here I will write dot alias and then I will give the new column name and uh, let's say this new column name will be minimum sale price and here in you will see in the output we got the column name as minimum sale price we will have all the same values and number we have this you can see same numbers and all it's just that we, you can rename the column here you are getting by default minimum of sale price but you can also rename this and you can put any name here now we will look at the next function the next function is maximum and we can find the maximum of a sale price we will write gdf dot aggregate and this time we want to find the maximum I will write f dot maximum and then the column name the column name is sale price dot show here in the output we got the city name as well as the maximum sale price in that city the sale price the maximum sale price of a house for this city Lucknow is 47k Mumbai 55k Kolkata 43k Pune 37k Delhi 42k Bhopal 43k and so on we can apply this function on any other column as well for example let's say I want to apply this function on this column GR live area I'll copy this column name from here and I'll just paste this here instead of sale price I will paste that column name here and let's execute our code and this time we got the output for this GR leave area the maximum GR leave area for this city Lucknow is 3608 and for Mumbai 2646 Kolkata 322 and so on you can apply this function on any continuous column you can apply this on this first, this second column, third column, fourth column, or fifth column. The next function is the sum, and this is the total sale price in each city. Here you will see we have multiple cities here, and we have for each city we have multiple samples. For example, this city, let's say Lucknow, has four to five samples here. So we will calculate the sum of all these four five samples and then we will get the output that will be the sum of the total price of this city Lucknow let's say I'll write gdf dot aggregate and this time I, I want to apply the function sum and I want to apply it on the function column sale price df dot sale price dot show and here we got the sum of sale price for each city for Lucknow we have this number this is a very big number for Mumbai this for Kolkata this and so on here we are getting the total sale price that is the sum of all the sale price for each city here next we will find what is the mean sale price of a house in each city I will call gdf dot aggregate and this time I will call mean function f dot mean and we want to find the mean sale price of let sale price mean sale price of a house dot show and here in the output we got the mean sale price of a house in each city for Lucknow the mean sale price is 19 k for Mumbai 17, Kolkata 18, Pune 16, Delhi 19 and so on. We can also apply this mean function on any other column. For example, instead of city, I will write this overall quality and we will get the mean overall quality for each city. I'll paste it here and let's execute the code. 
and these are the main overall quality for each city for Lucknow the main overall quality is 6, Mumbai 5, Kolkata 6, Pune 6, Delhi 6, Bhopal 6 so you can see here for each city we have the average overall quality is exactly same we have 6 just for Mumbai we have 5.94 which is close to 6 here and the last one is average average and mean both are same you can apply any of them if I apply this function average you will see we will get the same result I will write gdf dot aggregate f dot average and we want to find the average sale price I will write df dot sale price dot show and here you will see we got the same output here we have mean sale price so I have I'll write the sale price here it will be easy for us to compare now if you see the output between these two results for this mean and average you will find that they are same we have you know same numbers same mean values 190732 you can use either mean or average because they both, both of them are same and the last function is count uh, this function will tell us the count of each observation for example we have a column city and we want to find how many times Lucknow is coming or Mumbai is coming and we can find that using the function count I will call our this data frame gdf and then call this aggregate function and then f and this time we will use the method count and we want to count this for sale price I will write df dot sale price dot show And here you will see Lucknow is coming 81 times, Mumbai is 117, Kolkata 74, Pune 39, Delhi 78, Bhopal 111. You can get the count using this method count. These are some of the aggregation functions which you can apply on your group data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.